Okay, I'm going to talk about bay leaves. So, I uh, I cook, I make lentil stew. In fact, I made some this morning, and I had uh, I was out of these these Mount Tagetos bay leaves, which were just superb. They're dry. They were they were <laughs> dried bay leaves, uh, but apparently they don't bottle them anymore. I mean, the company still exists. Um, I guess it's it's imported by Optima Foods. Anyway, so I had to go to a um, another supermarket. I bought this brand of uh, dried bay leaves. It was like about ten, eleven dollars. They were okay. They weren't bad. They weren't bad. This was um, sorry for that lack of focus here. Simplyorganic.com. Okay, this nonsense that they 1% of sales supports organic farming and education, blah, 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 nobody cares. Nothing wrong with these, nothing wrong with simply organic, but these were dry bay leaves. Now, at the same store, I couldn't find those. I tried to get, I tried to get another bottle of those. So then I said, well, I bought a bottle of these, and these are California bay leaves. They're not, they're not, um, they're not dried. And... They have a bit of a more floral smell. There's nothing wrong with them. I, I've used these. Actually, I've used the. Uh, uh, I had some of some of the uh, dried, simply organic, still, and I sort of I got you know two two leaves of one, two leaves of the other. Nothing wrong with these. And these were like about twelve bucks a bottle. Okay, all natural, gluten free. Yada yada. All this not was this non irradiated. Oh please, I mean Jesus, give me a break. Um. Morton and Bassett Spices of Ronard Park, California. Probably, you know, more nonsense. So I went to the store today hoping that I could get, uh, hoping that I could find some of these, of this brand of bay leaves, because they were, they were excellent. Uh, I didn't find them. I found this. <laughs> Mount Pelion bay leaves, hand-picked. And uh, this was like 5 bucks, I believe, or four ninety nine. So they're dried bay leaves. And, you know, the thing is, when you, when you pick them and all that, I, um, I mean, this, this bottle looked like it had the most consistent quality of dried bay leaves. So this is why I picked this particular bottle. This is 100% um, natural, thank you. TerraMedi.com. TerraMedi of Astoria, New York. Keep in a cool, dry place, thank you. I'll take it. Congratulations. Uh, okay. So, and they have their little, um, they actually have a little thing here, a little piece of glued on paper to make sure that, you know, no one's opened this before, which we appreciate. Uh, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm at the point now, if I've, I've been considering this, I'm at the point of actually buying, buying a bay leaf plant and growing it here like some people grow herbs, you know, they'll grow like mint or rosemary or whatever at home. Uh, the prices are pretty steep. Uh, it says on the internet that you can replace bay leaves with um, oregano, and uh, I can sort of see. Okay, I'm out of focus again. I can sort of see a distant um, similarity in the flavor and odor profile, but uh, you know, bay leaves are bay leaves, and it's like you know. So I, I so I, I found I found a, a brand that I well, I believe was perfect. They don't, they don't stock these anymore. I checked on the web. You can actually get bay leaves from this company in like a plastic bag. Like when you go to a, uh, a grocery store that specializes in Hispanic foods, you'll see, or even, even at Walmart, you'll see like those plastic bags and they have bay leaves, whatever the, uh, whatever the Spanish name is for bay leaves. And they look like they're basically, you know, lower quality. Um, you know, I got these. So it was four grams. This was like 11 bucks, I think. And I got these four grams. This is like about twelve bucks. Uh, so I got ten grams. So I got ten grams for basically four ninety nine or whatever it was. Or uh, yeah, it was four ninety nine. So um, so this is like fifty cents a gram, right? Yeah, it's fifty cents a gram. And this was this is basically three bucks, close to three bucks a gram. Uh, I like these, the California bay leaves. Like I said, they're not dried. Um, 
But it's damn pricey. It is damn pricey. And and you, you sort of have to wonder, like when you do when you make a stew, like like you do the, like the, I make lentil stew. I love. I think I put these in also in on my um, chuck roast stew, etc. Beef stew. Um, you know they do give a subtle flavor. It's not overwhelming or overpowering. So you know paying paying like you know eleven twelve bucks for four grams. So it's basically three bucks a gram versus paying five bucks for ten grams. And what was the amount of potatoes? This was a this was oh yeah this was a freaking steal. I think this was about this was about five bucks five six seven bucks. Or a 25, 25 grams. So that would put it like a 33 cents, I think, a gram. Um, yeah, so um, so I don't know, man. I mean, these Baileys, there's a whole range of prices. There's a whole range of quality. Uh, the California Baileys, like I said, they're, they work. They're just fine. I was actually quite surprised. They didn't know. I mean, I'm so used to the uh, dried Baileys. But, uh, yeah, I'm almost considering buying a bay leaf plant, which you can get for like 20 bucks off the web, and uh, growing it so I have a fresh supply. But, uh, yeah, um, really tough to get good quality bay leaves at a good price. And, you know, these, you know, this 10 gram, 10 gram bottle cost me five four ninety nine five bucks. Uh, so, I don't know. Just venting a little bit, you know, from a guy who likes to make lentil stew every once in a while.